Hello, powerful parents. Dr. Robin Silverman here, your creator of your Powerful Words Character System. Happy April 2011. This month, as a Powerful Words member school, we're focusing on the word respect. Now, respect must be given if it is to be gotten. This is the case with both self-respect and respect for others. It's unlikely that we can cultivate respect from others if we don't show respect for ourselves or respect for our fellow man. Respect is at the foundation of every healthy relationship, interaction, and communication. It's reflected in the way we speak and act. It's in the way we treat our family and friends, our environment, and our community. It's also in the way we regard the rights, ideas, and property of others. Respect, after all, is all about following the golden rule, treating others the way you want to be treated. This month, we'll talk about both having respect for others as well as having respect for ourselves. For those of you who've read my book, Good Girls Don't Get Fat, you know that there are so many messages in the media and in the world that tell us to be unhappy with who we are, to buy products that will make us appear younger, thinner, and better, and to do unhealthy things to our bodies to fit into an acceptable mold. It is only when we embrace our assets and build on them that we learn to respect ourselves and celebrate our own strength and values. Again, when we can do that, it's easier for others to respect the value in us. During this month, we'll discuss respect in what we say, what we do, respect for our environment, and respect for those we admire. Take a look at your parents' perch letter and you will see the two different definitions for respect for the youngest kids as well as the, ch the older children, teens, and adults. We know respect is all about following the golden rule, but also about showing others that no matter what we're doing, we remember we have character. Let's use these conversations in class to springboard conversations in the car and at the dinner table about respect. How have your children shown respect lately? What examples have you seen at work, at the PTA, wherever you reside? When children can recognize it in others, they have more examples of how they can show it themselves. Now this is such a terrific, powerful word, respect, and we respect you. We want to thank you for all that you do. And in the meantime, please go to drrobinsilverman.com and see all the great articles there, or go to my Facebook fan page so we can hear from you directly. And in the meantime, I hope you make it a very powerful month. Goodbye, everyone.